guys, it's Sarah, and I'm here to tell you all the latest things that have been happening in the past week. Okay, so basically everything with the RBB stuff has been crazy recently, especially with the Snapchat, which I'm not even sure is real or not, but the RBB bears posted another Snapchat that said two hours. Again, another countdown. They're also responding daily on their Tumblr account. Oh, and there was this girl who posted an Instagram video of herself, like having like a DM chat with Louie, and I know people can like fake this stuff, but no, it was literally Louie Tomlinson with all those followers, like 20 million or something like that. Like it wasn't Photoshopped and it wasn't a hacker because it was a video of it and she was basically asking like oh was like Larry real is Harry your boyfriend are you gay you know like stuff like that and Louis literally responded you know the answer and I'm like a lot of this stuff is really hard to believe even for me but it kind of seemed believable the rainbow bondage bears took another picture for snapchat a couple hours later after they posted the two hour snapchat thing and it was a picture of the Wellington airport or something like it was like the desk it said Wellington airport and the next day they posted a Snapchat saying one hour, then a picture of the rainbow bondage bear, and then they posted pictures of like pieces of paper that say Wellington on them. But the Tumblr account, which I believe there's more validity with the Tumblr account, they said that they're in no way connected to the Snapchat, they do not have a kick, and they are not related to the Gaydar account either. Like seriously guys, I actually think the Tumblr account is more believable than the Snapchat. <laughs> Rainbow Bondage Bears basically just said it's just them and like the Twitter's legit and I think the Tumblr's legit too. And plus the Rainbow Bondage Bear Snapchat isn't even posting anymore so I'm just not even gonna deal with the Snapchat anymore. The Tumblr account posted a picture of like birds and pears in like a number one over like a rainbow background or something like that probably symbolizing one day left until the Jingle Ball. They posted this before the Jingle Ball which was on Sunday. But people are claiming that the Snapchat is fake because the boys aren't even in Wellington and the Snapchat was posting pictures pictures of Wellington. If anything, One Direction were in Dallas, Texas, because that's where they were performing for the Jingle Ball. On Tuesday, the Rainbow Bondage Bear Twitter account posted a picture of them reading a Judy Garland book, and they had a rainbow cup, and that was probably the same rainbow cup Harry had in that music video. The Rainbow Bondage Bear account also changed its location to Dallas, which is where they were for the Jingle Ball. Seriously, the Rainbow Bondage Bear account does this all the time, like One Direction will go somewhere, and then the account will change its location according to where the boys are. The Rainbow Bondage Bear Tumblr account also typed, I'm done but they didn't specify what that even meant but they also said that they're in Dallas by screenshotting their Twitter location. Someone asked how Rainbow Bondage Bear was doing on their Tumblr page and Rainbow Bondage Bear responded with divine and here's why this word divine is so special. On that same day Harry tweeted Hoysier lyrics which said I have this some of the time and the lyric before that is and it's worth it. It's divine. Same word choice. Also on the same day, the Rainbow Bondage Bear Twitter account changed his profile picture to a divine drag queen. Again, with the word divine. And oh my gosh, okay, there's so much Larry in interviews now. Like, they're basically husbands now. The interviewer showed One Direction that he had a lighthouse tattoo. And we all know, like, Louis has a lighthouse tattoo or he's getting a lighthouse house tattoo. Louis and Harry were, like, joking around on the couch. They were, like, laughing, fawning, looking at each other. But he was, like, laughing and stuff like that. And then Harry looks at him and then they were just laughing and stuff like that. And it was all because, like, the interviewer said that he had a lighthouse tattoo or something. Like, I think there was an inside joke there, and then Liam and Niall were like, what's going on? You could tell Liam and Niall were not in on the joke, because they were just looking at Harry and Louis like, what are you guys laughing about? Like, Louis and Harry were just in their own little world. And then, like, Harry said something funny. He's like, oh, if I wasn't in One Direction, I would've got, like, a dragon tattoo or a yin-yang symbol, or, like, I would've gotten a cat. And Louis, like, literally dies laughing. He, like, bends over. He can't stop laughing. Harry's fawning at him. He's like, oh my gosh, I made Louis laugh. And then, like, Louis repeats what Harry says. Like, they were just laughing at each other's funny and it was so adorable. It's like, is this 2011? On the live banner during Five Seconds of Summer's performance, it said, Larry is real, thanks. And there's many pictures of that. There was like many angles of it and stuff like that. And I don't think someone would have faked that. And I don't know why it was there. I think this has not been brought up enough, but this was literally just a few days ago. Every artist who performed there had like this banner going across the stream, like the digital banner thing, like saying words and stuff. And it said like, Larry is real, thanks. It's weird how they said it in Five Seconds of summer's performance. It's like, are you kidding me? How many messages are we going to be getting? Oh my gosh, Rainbow Bondage Bear was brought up in an interview. I never thought that this day would happen, but it happened. Like, the interviewer, like, nonchalantly, he tried to play it off cool. He was like, so people asked me to talk about the Rainbow Bear. You know, he, he knows. He probably wanted to ask the question himself, but he just played it off like the fans are asking, everybody else is asking. Anyway, so he's like, yeah, people wanted me to ask about the Rainbow Bondage Bear. And then Niall literally had whiplash. His head went like this. 
this to Louis. I'm pretty sure he broke his neck. Louis was literally like shitting his pants right in front of us. Like he did not talk the whole time. And then Harry was just like, can I get out of here? He'd wanted to leave the interview. It all ended up in like Liam looking confused as usual, not knowing like what the fuck's going on because Liam never knows what's going on. Basically, Harry was the one to discuss the Rainbow Bondage Bears. Harry was playing dumb. We Harry admitted he's media trained. So he basically started off by saying, oh, I believe that. And doesn't that sound familiar? It sounds like when Louis said, oh, people genuinely believe, you know, like that whole starting off the whole, um, we're gonna lie kind of thing. Cause he's like, oh, I believe that a fan threw the rainbow bondage bear on stage and then the crew kept it and put it on the scaffolding or whatever the fuck. It's like, okay, Harry, you basically described the rainbow ba bondage bears in the beginning beginning of the whole tour thing. But now what are the Rainbow Bondage Bears? Who's dressing them up? Whose idea is it to put them in front of every concert? Whose idea was it to put the light shining on them? Whose idea was to make a fucking Twitter account about the bears? Whose idea was it to just make the bears a mascot for the fandom? Like literally the bears are so much more than what Harry made it out to be. And I think it's because they just did not want to talk about it in the interview. They know. Everyone knows. I know, you know, we know. So they basically play dumb and lied about it, but I can see through it. I can see through this thick fog that they are providing for us. And on the discussion of tattoos in the interview, Louis said if he was never in one direction, he would have never gotten tattoos. I mean, obviously, because Louis was going to be a theater teacher. He can't have that in the university. But still, he's basically saying if I never joined this band, <laughs> met Harry, I would have never had tattoos. You know, aka, if I'd never met Harry, I would have never had uh, matching complimentary half tattoos. That's basically what he was saying. And while Louis said that, Harry looked at his ring. He like extended his hand and he was looking at his uh, ring. And that's just no coincidence. Like Harry always looks at his ring when a certain topic comes up. And of course, Louis is talking. The interviewer also asked like if there would be any random thing that they would be missing when they go on break. And Liam said the rainbow bear. And then Harry's like, yeah, true. They have no chill. But it's really weird because like a minute ago, they basically just acted like they had no idea what this rainbow bondage bear was. And now they're like choosing to say, hey, this actually is the thing. I'm really confused. But guys, like this whole thing about like, oh, the rainbow bondage bears are a thing because the crew kept them or like the crew run the account. No, it's not because guys, every time that the rainbow bondage bear Twitter account changed its location, according to where One Direction were, the crew wasn't even with One Direction. One Direction were just off on their own. They had no crew with them because the tour is over. So how does the crew run the account or manage these bears or do anything with these bears if like the location changed and it was just the boys. So I don't think the bears have really anything to do with the crew anymore. I think it's more Louie especially. Harry randomly tweets the other day, happy birthday to you, all the love. And if you guys watch the Adventures Adventure of One Direction episode thing, you know the thing that Mark Parsons is doing now? He's like uploading the 12 days of Christmas, like every episode, like a few days. That's awesome, by the way. It's it's awesome. There was Larry in that first episode. Anyway, I digress. The first episode of Adventures Adventures of One Direction, Harry literally forgot that it was Louis' birthday, like that whole scene right there. And a day after that that video went out, it might have even been the same day. I don't know if it was right around that time, Harry tweets like, happy birthday, all the love. And it was so random. It was very, he didn't even specify whose birthday it was. And he usually does that. He usually tags someone in a tweet. So the fact that he didn't even say whose birthday, it's like Harry watched the video and his character didn't know it was Louis' birthday. So it's almost like Harry was pretending to be his character and being like, oh, by the way, happy birthday, Louis, even though he didn't say a name. So, coincidence? Wednesday night, the Rainbow Bondage Bear again changed its location to like San Jose. I think I'm pronouncing that right, but it's in California. And that's where they did the Triple Ho show, or maybe it's the Late Late Show. One Direction, we're in California and the Rainbow Bondage Bear changed its location again. So again, this just proves that wherever One Direction go, the Bears account is changing. Thursday was the anniversary of the Larry Meal tweet, like chicken stuffed with parma ham, stuffed with mozzarella, with a side of homemade mash. Yeah, that, that whole thing that we all know, that whole mantra. This is the five year anniversary of when Harry tweeted a picture of Louis making that meal. So that's a very iconic thing in this fandom and I think we should all celebrate. I think we, sh we should all celebrate by making our own chicken stuffed with parma ham, you know? But instead of a side of homemade mash, it should be a 
side of tears. But I don't get it. Rainbow Bondage Bear keeps changing its Twitter profile picture. This is the second time this week that they've done it. They changed it to a guy with like a queen crown on. Again, it looks more like a feminine thing, like a drag type of thing. I think that's the theme that the Rainbow Bondage Bear is going with. I don't know what it symbolizes, but someone will figure it out. Today I went on Tumblr and I saw freaking pictures of Harry and Louis sharing a milkshake. I don't know if it was chocolate or strawberry, but they were both, like Harry took a sip of his milkshake and then he handed it to Louis, so they shared a milkshake. And then there were pictures of Louis and Harry sitting in the back of a car together. And then Liam and Niall were in the front of the car. So it was like carpooling, I think and people are calling it larpooling. <laughs> cute. Yeah, so I don't know what this was for. Maybe it was for the Triple Ho show or maybe the Late Late Night show. I'm not really sure which ones today. So I guess milkshakes were involved and being in a car was involved. I don't know, but the fact that Louie and Harry were next to each other in the car and like also sipping each other's milkshakes, I'm done. This, this is this is great. And I can't wait to see footage of Louie and Harry on the James Corden show because we all know that Larry's stuff goes down whenever they're with James Corden or just gay stuff. So if I missed anything, leave it down below. And like always, I make a video once every week. So like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.